G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video and this is the December 2013 update. I have uh, a bunch of things to talk about, all very very interesting, I, I just believe me. Now the first thing I want to say is uh, buy a Wasabi Cars t-shirt. No, uh, the first thing I want to get to is uh, my visit to Nagoya that will be happening just before Christmas. Guys, this is amazing. The first, uh, one of the places I will be visiting is the Toyota Automobile Museum. I'm sure it's like world famous. Some classic automobiles from uh, not only Toyotas but Japan's automotive past and uh, even uh, cars from around the world. So it should be absolutely spectacular. The, the number one car I really want to see that I know is there is a uh, Hino Contessa. It's like a two-door sporty car and uh, designed by Michelotti. So uh, that's that's the number one car I would want to see. And uh, I guess up there, kind of, is the James Bond convertible. But a bit lower, actually. But um, I don't like the idea of them butchering a 2000 GT. But, I mean, it's an iconic car. It was in a James Bond movie. It's sort of awesome. So, yeah. But, I mean, there will be so many other great cars there. So, yes, the Toyota Automobile Museum, number one. Number two is the... Um, Mitsubishi Auto Gallery, so that's actually located very nearby. It's much smaller, a much smaller scale. Um, much, I, I dare say people haven't really heard of it, but um, I will be doing my best to take photos and make videos to, um, to bring you the goods about what's there. So yeah, Toyota, Mitsubishi. Now another car related place in Okazaki or in uh, near Nagoya, o Okazaki City, is Rocky Auto. Now, Rocky Auto, there's a nostalgic hero, Rocky Auto, here he is, oh, here's his workshop, and basically, Hakoska Nissans, Ken Mary, uh, Fair Lady Zs, 240s, 260s, 240, 240 ZGs, like a row of them, my god, Ken Mary's, Hakoskas, it's basically Nissans, it's six cylinders, it's triple carburetors, it's highly tuned cars. That's what he's about, and um, I got an email from them today just confirming that I will be visiting, so I'm just thrilled at that. I mean, I would love to be seeing, did you see the recent Speed Hunters um, post about um, whoever the guy is, sorry mate, <laughs> if you're watching, I'm sure you're not, but um, yeah, he, he went to uh, Rocky Auto's sort of junkyards and, and took photos and amazing but I, I won't be able to get to see those cars which is really what Wasabi Cars is about but um, anyway I'll be there so yeah Toyota Museum, Mitsubishi Museum, Rocky Auto just BAM amazing but it's not all cars guys I will be visiting Nagoya Castle and a few other nearby castles so historical places that's another hobby of mine should be good fun Inuyama, Inuyama Castle Awesome. Did I say bombshells? <clears throat> What's that? That is a HD Holden from 1965. Okay. Uh, check it out. What do you notice about that? Can you see anything there? Holden. Holden. Kanji I cannot read. Uh, now I think this is Wakayama. Wakayama City. M uh, Moto Machi. This is a Japanese brochure for a Holden motor car. Now, so I, I mean, I was not really aware of this, but Holden had dealers or had uh, sales channels, no matter how small, um, in Japan. And this is a Japanese language brochure. It's all in Japanese. Holden HD. It's all in Japanese. The whole thing. Looks like an ink. Well, you know, it's the same layout as the as the Australian brochure, but it's all Japanese. Shin Holden HD Kata Pudemia. I can't even read that. But anyway, how cool is that? Hey, bombshell. Um, what else? Bombshell. Um, is it ready? Ah, okay. Well, geez, I'm almost finished the the video, guys. Sorry, it's a bit quick. But anyway, it's awesome news. The the the, the trip to Nagoya. Check this out guys, do you remember this video I did about this uh, Fair Lady Z432R, is it real, is it not real? Um, now, it may, it, I'm still yet to confirm that it's a real, real 432R, but the car show I went to, 
Um, it was listed on the official uh, entry sheet as a genuine 432R without speaking to the owner. We'll just, well, let's leave it there. But I got a comment from a fella. The, bla uh, the, the BLK Zenki, the Black Zenki, is that what he's yeah, getting at? You know, I think... And he says, do you upload all the videos in slow motion? Fucking annoying. And I guess my immediate response is, fuck you. I don't owe you anything. Um, and then, but then again, it, it's a legitimate question, even though he's an asshole. So uh, let me just explain. What happens is I go to a car show or I do my car spotting and I generally stand there like an idiot for 30 seconds to a minute and I get footage. Now then I come back here and I... And then I narrate. Now when I narrate and you guys are asking for longer videos, so I'm trying to, you know, stretch it out, guys. So I'm trying to speak for three minutes. And so I, I lay down the, the narration. And then I've got this minute of footage, right? That I have to stretch. Now there are benefits. There are benefits just to um, slowing it down. One is, number one is... It, it, it's longer. <laughs> Number two is it's not as jumpy because when I'm jumping around the footage is uh, jumpy so to slow it down it eases that that jumping jumpiness and hopefully reduces the, the level of um, motion sickness from the watch from the viewer so that's that's the, the big two reasons why I do it and another reason I just have no choice you know so sorry guys I mean it's not ideal but like I said, to, but I don't owe that guy anything, you know, I mean, don't complain, eh, piss off. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm a bit annoyed, you know, I mean, I do sit, I do this and um, people always want to complain. I know a bunch of you who are nice guys and you guys say, oh, forget about the haters, but I just wanted to tell them where to go. So there you go, guys, uh, Mr. Black Zenki, that's why I slow it down, asshole. Um, yeah. I think we're done, guys. Well, I'm sort of glad I had a bit of a spray there, but um, yeah. So bombshell, going to Nagoya, car shows ahoy, uh, car shows ahoy, car museums ahoy. You're going to see some uh, historical places in Nagoya. Should be good. Now, um, before I go, it's going to be a night bus there, one full day, night in a hotel, another day, and then a night bus back to Fukuoka. So I'm going to be smelly, tired, grumpy. And probably have no batteries left on my cameras by the end of it. So, um, I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. You're all awesome. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, thanks, guys. See ya. Goodbye.